Okay guys, uh, it's Prince here from the Cranky Gamers forums. Just thought I'd show you the unboxing of the X41s just as a comparison against the Astros really. Um, playing devil's advocate I am. So as you can tell, this is the box. It comes in nice and neat. I've already opened this so that it makes it easier to get into. Whole thing slides out. Put that over there. There we go. This little back plate comes off. And then it's all in a sealed plastic unit. All your little wires, batteries, etc. in there. Now I've done a little cut all the way around so that this slides off nice and easy. And we can pull it out. There we go. So this is what they look like. Nice little stand built into the RF unit there. And if I just show you the RF unit quickly, you've got a, a bypass switch here, which I'm not 100% sure of. I haven't used that myself. On the back, power. Your, your DC 5 volt in there. You can do the line in with the regular white and red cables, uh, line in volume for those ones, and you've got optical in and optical out, which is a digital connection. And then on the front, again, there's a, a lead out, which you can use a second pair of headphones, and the volume for that is on here. So, say if you're watching a movie and you wanted uh, someone else to watch a movie as well. They could both wear a set of headphones. If I just put that to one side and I'll show you the actual headphones themselves. Very light and swivel, obviously, and the uh, the boon there, which does actually pop off as well if you don't want to use it, and it pops back on quite nicely. I'll roll that back around and all your controls are on the bottom of this earpiece here basically you've got the power to switch it on and off an effect button which I presume changed the sound of your voice but I've never used it so never had any comments on the sound of my voice and the volume there uh, that's the master volume on that one there so if I just hang them on there in the rest of the box you will see you get all the usual paperwork. Um, that is the USB power cable, so it's powered by uh, USB from your Xbox or your PS3. That is the chat cable and an optical cable and a set of batteries. So the optic, the uh, sorry, the chat cable is where all the fun stuff happens. This plugs into your Xbox controller, this goes in to the bottom of the uh, headphones like this and then you will have on here a simple mute uh, and uh, unmute for the, for the mic and on here you've got the chat volume so if the game volume is loud and you can't hear your friends you can turn it up or turn it down uh, as you like it so works very well it works better than the old X4s these are the X41s the X4s used to use uh, infrared um, so you had to have line of sight between this unit and the, and the headphones but now it works on RF which is radio frequency so it's uh, a lot better but um, it runs on a very common radio frequency so if you have a lot of wireless uh, connectivity within your house um, particularly in the room that you use these you might find a bit of interference uh, with them but if you have them uh, quite away from any wireless routers and bits and bobs like that shouldn't find any problem at all um, some of the improvements from the other X4s is uh, we've got a leather piece along here which is nice and comfy and the ear cups here used to be a kind of felt material but now they're kind of a, a gauzy material which I can testify makes it a lot uh, cooler on your ears so you don't start getting a, 
a boiling hot head. So well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.